Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for diabetes. So there are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 is where your immune system attacks and destroys your insulin producing cells in the pancreas. And that's a combination of genetics plus environmental factors. We don't know exactly why it occurs. Type 2 is much more common. That usually occurs later in life. And the risk factors include uh, overweight or obesity, uh, sedentary lifestyle, genetics. Certain races have a higher predilection, increasing age, high blood pressure, and possibly abnormal cholesterol. Diabetes is very popular, unfortunately. 11% of the U.S. population has it, and it increases to 27%. Of over the age of 65 have it. Worldwide, there's over 425 million cases. 35% of Americans have what's called prediabetes, which is chronically elevated blood sugar, which is headed in the direction of uh, actual diabetes. So, you know, there's a lot of diabetes in the pipeline, so to speak. Complications, uh, there can be a lot of them with uh, uncontrolled blood sugars from diabetes, cardiovascular, uh, diabetic neuropathy, kidney damage, eye and foot damage. There are various skin conditions, um, hearing impairment, Alzheimer's, dementia, and depression can occur. When you look at the conventional treatment options for diabetes, they are all geared towards controlling blood sugar. And hopefully that can prevent future complications. Type 1 diabetes is managed with insulin, as well as dietary changes and exercise. Type 2 diabetes has a lot more controllable uh, factors, um, as far as lifestyle and dietary changes, reducing weight, um, and then non-insulin or insulin medication. There's about, I checked them recently, 10 different classes of non-insulin medications that can be taken orally to help control blood sugars. There's an insane amount of them. Now let's delve into stem cell therapy for diabetes. This is really the new paradigm. It's a non-operative therapy that can actually repair and regenerate tissues that have become damaged. And by and large, we see uh, excellent relief, improved function in patients. This is a low-risk therapy. It's outpatient. Uh, we've seen so much effectiveness. Our protocol for diabetes is pretty much always going to be an IV and oftentimes focal injections because a lot of people come in with diabetes. They also have like diabetic neuropathy. There's going to be some injections for that. It just depends on the individual patient. How do these stem cell biologics work? Well, a lot of people think that if they get a stem cell biologic, it's those stem cells that are going to then turn into the specialty cells in one's body. And predominantly that is not how these biologics work. A lot of it is what's called paracrine signaling, which is cell-to-cell -cell signaling and recruitment of one's own specialty cells and stem cells to help repair and regenerate damaged tissue. New blood flow is amped up, neovascularization is called, and then reduced cell death. It could be neurons, it could be islet cells of the pancreas, or other cells. You want them around longer, because there's not enough of them, you want to get as many as possible that are functional. Immunomodulation is a key term specifically for diabetes. It can help modulate when you have a reaction against your own body where you're killing off the cells that regulate insulin and blood sugar. It can help uh, modulate that and stop that process for a long period of time. Um, it can also help reduce inflammation, and we know that inflammation is one of the chronic modicums of disease, it can really help bring that, that down. So I just want to go through a few studies. This is from 2016, clinical effic efficacy of stem cell therapy for diabetes. A meta-analysis is when authors will accumulate a bunch of studies. In this case, they accumulated 22 studies and they looked at all the outcomes, in this case from 520 some total patients. Infusion of umbilical cord stem cells provided significantly beneficial outcome in type 1 diabetes when compared to the bone marrow version. And if they noted that if the uh, stem cells were administered early after the diagnosis, it was more effective than uh, later stages. And stem cell transplantation can represent a safe and effective treatment 
for selected patients with diabetes. Here's another study, mesenchymal stem cells as new therapeutic approach for diabetes and pancreatic disorders. This is uh, from 2018. So they talked about the immunomodulatory action of stem cells and in particular their ability to reduce the activation of the immune system could stop the production of basically the body fighting itself and killing off the pancreatic beta cells. Um, it's a very promising strategy for the treatment of the three main pancreatic disorders, diabetes, pancreatitis, and pancreatic cancer. Due to the, due to the immunomodulatory and pro-survival properties, they could be used to prevent disease onset or as a cure to prevent pancreatic tissue um, damage. So when they did this, they put together a great diagram you see on the left with those three disorders. And let's just focus on the diabetes one where they talked about the immunomodulation, where it can stop the body from fighting itself, regeneration of those islet cells, as well as more cells differentiating into the insulin releasing cells. So it really can help modulate one's own blood sugar. So this was a study looking at stem cell secretome as a new booster for regenerative medicine. For those of you who are not familiar with the term secretome, an example of a secretome is an exosome. Exosomes have gotten very, very popular in regenerative therapies. We use them at our clinics internationally, such as in Mexico, and they're not cells. They are proteins. So what their conclusion was, as a cell-free way for regenerative medicine therapies, stem cell secretome, i.e. exosome, has shown great potential in a variety of clinical applications including preventing cardiac dysfunction, neurodegenerative disease, type 1 diabetes, hair loss, tumors, joint osteoarthritis. So long-term effect and safety of Wharton's jelly-derived mesenchymal stem cells on type 2 diabetes. This study, fantastic. They um, looked at patients that had mesenchymal stem cell treatments, and they had two IV infusions. Um, the mean cell counts were 2.6 times 10 to the 7th. What does that mean in actual numbers? That's 26 million uh, stem cells separated a month apart. So they looked at postprandial glucose as well as hemoglobin A1C measurements, and they followed them for up to two years, and they were statistically significantly lower. The insulin usage and fasting C-peptide were also improved, and the conclusion that was Transplant of umbilical cord MSCs, mesenchymal stem cells, for type 2 diabetes is not only safe, but it is clinically effective. Here's one on amniotic stem cell transplantation for type 2 diabetes. This is a small study. It was, it was only four patients with type 2 diabetes who were not having a good time controlling their blood sugars. When they used amniotic stem cells, they showed the glycemic control improved dramatically. And this was just one treatment, and they followed them up for three years. And the results suggested that one plausible therapeutic strategy improving glycemic control by increasing insulin sensitivity uh, could be seen with the amniotic stem cell therapy. So, you know, I look up so many studies on a regular basis. I could include many, many more, but I just want to give a sampling of studies showing that, you know, stem cells can be very effective for diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2. There are many small studies, early clinical trials. Our own experience has been fantastic. Showing stem cell therapy for diabetes is not only very, very safe, but typically very effective. We have never seen a rejection reaction. We've never seen a deep infection. It appears that high stem cell numbers are necessary. If you look at a lot of the studies that I didn't show, um, they do very high numbers. I showed you one that was 26 million given twice. Um, but for a lot of other conditions that have immune type of appearances like diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis where the body's fighting itself, just you need high numbers of cells. And we offer anywhere from 30 million upwards of 200 million. Um, but high stem cell numbers do matter. And the combo is what we've seen to work best with things like diabetic neuropathy for IV and injection. Um, umbilical cord and mesenchymal stem cells give fantastic results, just like the autologous. So I do want to point this out. <clears throat> Our center offers um, what's called mesenchymal stem cell therapy. 
and also includes hematopoietic stem cells. What we do not offer is embryonic stem cell therapy. If anybody says to you, you should get an embryonic stem cell therapy for your diabetes, or if they mention something called induced pluripotent stem cell therapy, you need to run away. Those are not ready for prime time anywhere by a long shot. All right, Those are still in the lab trying to figure out how to prevent the body from rejecting those, how to prevent them from forming tumors, where we haven't seen either of those for mesenchymal stem cells, all right? That's what we use. That's what's been shown to be safe, effective, and non-tumorigenic. So let's talk about our treatment program internationally. We have several clinics. One of them is in Tijuana. We have another one in Mexicali, and we have one upcoming in Cancun. The one in Tijuana is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. We've, had done, we've done over 200 procedures in the past year alone. Um, the process starts with a free phone consultation with one of our licensed experienced stem cell doctors. Patient concierge representative will be, will be dedicated to you to assist with everything, medical record, uh, obtaining those, uh, travel logistics. We will provide transportation from the airport in San Diego to the clinic and back. Let's talk about the cells for a minute because anybody who knows anything about stem cell therapy knows that a lot of the magic happens at the lab. So we've always been extremely particular about who we work with. GenCell is the lab in Mexico City. They have a pristine safety record now for seven years. Uh, their quality assurance is actually more stringent than what you see with the FDA. Um, we have several videos on our website looking at quality assurance and showing you the certificate of analysis and you know what they test for. The umbilical cord stem cells in Mexico are allowed to be cultured, unlike the U.S. We don't need to use preservative. So what you end up with is uh, a biologic that has very high viability, over 95%, and extremely high potency because you culture them, but the lab doesn't go past the fifth generation. So that means they're very pure, potent, and functional. Most labs internationally won't tell you this, but they culture it so much, they go way past the fifth, 10th, 15th generation. Most stem cells have high numbers, but they're not functional anymore. Uh, we've received a lot of awards lately. This one recently, USA's leading regenerative therapy services provider. So we've brought the same quality and consistency and expertise to our international clinics. Um, our stem cells uh, start at only $2,975 for 30 million stem cells. Um, for an extra 20 million to make it 50, it's only an extra $1,000. And we have procedures where patients can come back several times a year and get a really good uh, deal for the investment uh, because you know these are not going to be one and done. You are going to need repeat procedure. This isn't going to necessarily cure your diabetes. Uh, so to get the process started with the free phone consultation, call us today at 888-988-0515 and visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. Tons of information on the website, lots of great videos. Um, We've been featured all over the place. We've been around for eight years now, one of the longer um, clinics. We've uh, really solidified our protocols and what works um, and taken the extra mile uh, with our patients to understand what's going to help them the best. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.